Hello. Uh, I'm here to pay for coffee. To pay? After coffee. Uh, Charles Oh, oh, okay. Uh, hi, everybody. How you doing? Papa Snow back here. Uh, Miss Pooja? Uh, I think you have a pair in here. You could just head right in. Please. Yeah. All right? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? Papa Snow here. Uh, first, foremost, let me thank our viewers. Right? It is another work day here. Right? Uh, we don't stop working. Right? And, well, Raj just checking in with he boss. You gotta check in with he boss. Right? <laughs> right? Uh, and with us, we got. We got one of the characters in our reality show. We have Father Time with us, AKA Old Man John, All right? He is in the building. Before I proceed, I would like to thank the viewers who contacted us this morning, um, who are willing to sponsor uh, a child and their education. So I, I wanted to thank Donna. I wanted to thank you guys from the bottom of our heart. Uh, I think we have found um, one of the perfect candidates for that sponsorship. It is a young lady. She is 13 years old. Um, earlier this year, both of her parents uh, would have committed suicide. And uh, she's currently living with an in-law. And I know that with everything going on, the finances have been very, very hard on the family. So Donna, I would be setting up a meeting with you, the child and her guardians so that uh, you know, we can make the arrangements to cover her schooling and get these things uh, in place, right? What's up everybody, how you guys doing? Uh, just letting you know if there's anyone else out there that would like to sponsor a child over here in terms of getting them to, into school and seeing that they are actually, you know, seeing where your sponsorship actually goes, uh, seeing how it helps and how it benefits, that is something that you can do. Also letting you guys know out there as well, if you're interested in helping someone get their own land so that they can have their own home, right? You can do that through our network for as low as 50 US dollars per month, right? Uh, and we could get things in place so that persons can actually be on their way toward getting their own home, right? Uh, we do have extra properties still available, right? In the housing scheme that we're building. It is a low income housing scheme, but there are a lot of other people that are affected by some things that even low income is still hard for them to get. And uh, there are families that could use some assistance. And, you know, I don't know if it's too much for you guys, but, you know, it's as low as 50 US dollars a month. And you can definitely help a family uh, have something for their self. Okay? Um, remember, we're doing the part by helping to provide the land and. Uh, so any money that comes in from that, that goes toward the development so that everyone can get to their places as fast as possible. And it is transported land. So I would like to thank Mr. Karaya for, for making the land available now. Um, he has made the land available, which is when we first started working toward the project plans, implementations, things like that. So all of that is an amazing thing. So for those of you who really want to help if you want the show, you know, don't just don't just give somebody a fish. Give them the ability to fish for themselves, and that's what job fair is about, right? And uh, we definitely want to thank the persons who are coming on board to make that a reality. Now, today with me, right, uh, we have Father Time, right? So Father Time is one of the characters. Now, not sure what Father Time wanted to say today, right? But Father Time, you got any words of wisdom for us today? If there any question somebody would like to ask me? No, man, nobody ain't asking any questions oh, okay. right now. Okay. I would just like you to share a little bit of what you got in your mind. Some of the audience actually asked where you were the All other right. day. Well, it's about the scriptures. Okay, you got something there's scriptural. A father, to... there's a trinity. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. The Father, only begotten Son, is a part of well, himself. Okay, sorry to cut you. Somebody, somebody was decided. Yeah, uh, the Son. And the Father is one, but the Son dwells within our flesh. The Son manifests itself in Jesus Christ. The Son could manifest in anybody, but you have to be a believer. You have to have faith. Now, take your time. 
Take my time. Take your time. Okay. There are questions in the in the in, in the book of Romans that says those who have the law written in their hearts, their conscience bearing witness, and their thoughts, the means while excusing or else accusing one another. Yeah, you're seeing it right. Uh, uh, okay. Sorry, I think I think we're getting I think we're getting like we got to get closer to this building here because remember we've got we've got online classes and everything going on inside the school, right? Don't mind this. We gotta plaster all this up soon. So go ahead, yeah, Father well, Time. Yeah, well, the the sun. Okay, let me let me backtrack. Take, take 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 your time. I can get off in a minute. Catch catch your thoughts a minute, right? Yeah. Catch your thoughts a minute. For years, this man has had a lot of knowledge on him. And he's been looking for a venue to share it. He's written things down. He's written so many things down. But I don't think he's ever really got the opportunity to get his point of view across. And I think there's a lot that we can learn from it. You know, without being judgmental. Just listening for a moment. And there's a couple things that, uh, that, he, can get, that he can get out to us that might probably be educational for us as well, right? Now, he was talking about the Book of Romans where it was stating that those who have the law written on their hearts, those are the ones who will actually be able to bring about something good. But there's plenty of people with the law on their tongue, but the law isn't in their heart, right? So, you know, they talk about faith, but they have no actions of faithfulness, right? So that's, uh, is that kind of what you were trying yeah, to say? Yeah, yeah. Well, you see, I'm an interpreter too, right? Thoughts are the most important thing in creation. Trees give us oxygen. Our star, which is the sun, give us. It pours down thoughts for anything you could imagine. And like I was saying in the book of Romans, you already have the law, when you say the law written in your heart, don't mean this heart. It means your intellect, your memory, it's there. The law, God's law is right there. And your conscience, very important thing, bears witness. And your thoughts are the means, there you go, thoughts again, are the means while accusing someone or else accusing someone in their actions and deeds. Thank you very much. Thank you. So that was some words of wisdom from my boy Father Time on the Papa Snow's reality show. Right? Thank you, Mr. Snow. Thank you very much, John. I always appreciate it, my brother. All right? It, it, it's, good. it's good to have a variety of different types of people around you. I can't have only young people around me because I can't learn from them. Some things, yeah, but most things, no. You got to learn from those who know, right? You got to share the experiences of the average person here in Guyana. This is very, very important because all of us come from different walks of life. And uh, the only way that we're going to really be able to explore the full benefits of humanity is when we share all of those aspects of what this life has to offer, right? Now, uh, well... Basically, we, we are on lunch break right now, getting ready for go and eat some lunch. I've been working my mouth earlier, right? It's time for my crew who's been working physically, and even for Father Time, it's time for all of us to get some lunch, right? And uh, I just want you to know how things go by me, right? Um, you know, this is one thing I thank Mr. Karaya for, my father. He's raised me to be a very generous person. And because of that, God always blesses me. I feel that... Uh, he has protected me. How old are you, Father Time? Father Time? 72, right? Yeah, he is 72. That man is 72, 72 years old. By right? the way, this morning I was listening to... Uh, a, a What's on the menu there? Well, well, well can, we take a, can we look at your food real fast? Nobody in bad, ain't it? All right, so, uh, <laughs> T-Guy, tree nice, he up. We got some chow mein, white rice. John, come up, man. Let's let's eat. Let's eat, my brother. Everybody eat, right? Everybody get their food? All right. Once everybody eating, I can go eat now. Right? All right. That's the main thing. Make sure everybody eat. Auntie Guy Tree, you ain't eat yet. All right. Do you ain't eat yet either? All right. No, no. Father time, come in now. Come in. Come in and sit down. Rest your legs, my brother. Rest your legs. Yeah, please, please take out some food for, for John. Can you take some out for me too? I'm gonna eat one time. Yeah. So, you know, 
just how life goes, right? You, you have to be open-minded. And I just tell people, you know, uh, my home is open to all type of people. Why don't you come with a good mind? I ain't got much, but what I got, we share. We just look out for each other. Yeah, yeah, once they come with clean thoughts, man. We don't want we don't want no bad vibe here. Yeah, this morning I was listening to somebody on the radio. And I was talking about love. My definition of the word love, another word for the word love is to give. To give sympathy, to give, to share, to give help, to give mercy, give to give. The the ultimate word the ultimate thing in giving is to forgive, to give before it's even asked of you. Well, you heard it from Father Time. He's been around a lot longer than me. So, you know. What's the definition of love? To give. Well, you know, uh, not just to give. The, the, in, in fact, my definition of love, mm -hmm. right, it, it comes with long suffering, right? It comes with forgiveness. It, it's selfless. It is not selfish, right? So... You know, you, deny yourself, you, 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 yeah, you have to be able to deny yourself to, to help others. That, that to me is part of love. It's part, uh, part of God's law. Well, it's part of God's law. That's why God would have sacrificed his only begotten son to save the rest of humanity. Because love starts with an act of generosity, right? It, it starts with an, with an act of kindness. It starts with giving of yourself. Watch. Also in the book of Romans. We get this started, you know. Yeah. Also in the book of Romans, it's written, this whole creation wait and groan for the manifestations of the sons, the sons of God. The part of God that dwells within this flesh of many people is called his son. This is why sometimes Jesus would, would refer to himself as the son of God and then there are times Jesus in his own physical mentality would refer to himself as the son of man. You see, the son of God manifested itself in Jesus. He showed us what we could get, the things that await us from believing, from having faith. Jesus was chosen for this purpose and the son manifested itself, healed the sick, it wasn't Jesus personally, it was the Son that manifested through Jesus Christ to heal the sick, raise the dead, walk on water, calm the sea and all those things. It just briefly showed us the power that awaits us for those that believe. And another thing. Thank you. From those that believe... Food what? looks good. Food looks amazing. Hold on. I like I like give Jackie jacket right. I can't tell it as it is, and not give not give Jackie jacket. Watch, watch. I think I tree walking hard, right? I think I tree doing she part. I gotta do my part, right? So it's very very important. I am nothing without the people around me. One family, right? One family. That's how it goes. That's how it goes, right? Right. None of us ain't better than the next. Anybody pretending to be better than the next, well, that's when, that's when them people got to roll out, right? So, it's very important. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, uh, like I said, I did want to tell you guys, uh, thanks, because, you know, this little reality show thing that we're doing here, this, this can't be possible without the viewers, without good-minded people, right? And, uh, you know... It, it's it's important that you guys know how important you are, right, to actually love. making this stuff happen. Because you know, these that's days, showing love, man. yeah, that's showing love. That's showing love because you're giving your time, you're giving your time, and that's you're giving your consideration, your compassion. All that is part of love. To give mercy, to give pity. It's like the two. It's like you hear this when Jesus was being crucified. This like this like lunch and a movie at the same yeah. time. All right, lunch with Father uh, Time. You guys Two do your criminals, own show now. Here is part. Two criminals is being crucified alongside Jesus. Now, these guys, one of them looking at Jesus, in his thoughts, the question come, came to his mind, do you think that man deserved this death that he's going through? And his answer was, no, I don't think so. 
Now the next question came, are you going to let him know how you feel? But first he said to his partner, hey, buddy, we were criminals all the time. We deserve this death. Boy, see that man, I believe he's the son of God. I believe he's a godly man. I don't believe he deserves this. His partner said to him, hey, me ain't got time with he. I just want this thing to get over with and done. Now, another question came in this chief mind, this criminal mind. Are you going to tell the man how you feel? And he decided to do it. He said, Rabbi, buddy, I believe you are a man of God. You don't deserve this. But we, we were criminals. We deserve this. Could you look out for me when you get to heaven? Now, this was this criminal's last chance to show some mercy, some pity, some compassion to a man who didn't deserve what he was going through. You know what Jesus said to him? On this day you will be with me in paradise. That means he gets another chance. The other, where do you think the other partner going? Who said me ain't got time with her? He just wanted to get oh, get this this whole thing over and done with. He's going to hell. All right, Bob. You heard it. You heard it from Father Time. Right? He's so old, mm -hmm. I feel sometimes he was back there with Jesus, God. So let me tell you what's up. <laughs> hey. Right? <laughs> you gotta right. put yourself in there. It, it, it's a serious thing, right? Very serious. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, uh, for persons who are also coming on board to sponsor some of the dishes uh, that I'm going to be preparing at the cooking show on Saturday, if you would like your business, maybe you would like to uh, get a message out, maybe you don't have the time to cook, or you don't know what to cook, or you don't know how to cook, right? Um, I have set up a menu of six international dishes that we're going to be cooking on Saturday, right? Saturday, uh, I believe it's like Saturday the 6th, because Saturday the 6th, I'm going to do all six cooking shows for the week in one take, which is a big jump, right? Um, but definitely, if you would like to sponsor a show, it's as low as 50 US dollars, and you can actually sponsor one of the meals in the show, right? Also, remember that this week, uh, as we go through this week, we are going to be giving away uh, the opportunity for a couple of persons to be able to come and sample, sample the food, right? So, for those of you who win that opportunity, right on okay so I, I do want you to know it's gonna be very very fun uh, for rules to it you could check back on our Facebook on a tell it as it is or shut up Facebook page right and then uh, it'll kind of go from there you'll be able to see what days we're cooking African cuisine Southeast Asian Mediterranean right uh, so we do have a we do have I think at least one maybe two sponsors coming on board right so I'm be sending them their list shortly and they can pick from there for any other person that is interested in coming on to sponsor meal uh you know we don't mind you know we'll give you a shout out in the show if you have your remember my cooking show is not a political show right there's nothing to do with politics no that's not my dad my dad's mouth is crazy loud my dad i can't i can't move the camera off my dad my dad would would probably chase me down for keep the camera bunny yeah, right you take a plane right come right here and deal with right but it doesn't matter that it's not my father because at the end of the day all of us is family right and the average person might look at this man yes donna donna's got the friday menu yes donna is one of our sponsors so donna has the friday menu right uh, which is an amazing meal it's a five-star meal for uh, the Friday menu, which is pretty good, right? Uh, yeah, but you know, most people would look at Father Time on the road and pass him straight. But the realistic thing is, how many people with valid information do we not pay attention to? And then those that have all of the bullshit information, we give them all of the attention, right? The problem is, you know, um, a lot of people are judging books by its cover. Don't judge, and it's written in the scriptures, don't judge by the appearance. Well, it's what well, comes out of a man's mouth that will make him a good or a bad person. Well, it's not the appearance. Well, I well, can tell my you. appearance was better than this, you know.
from God. That's why it is even written, the countenance of your face will be changed when you step away from me. I'll deal with you. Well, yeah. He's both a saint and a sinner at one time because that, that is the case and that is, that is the road that many of us walk. Yeah. It is a thin, thin line. You could know a man but you don't know his mind. Right? You could say you know him physically but you don't know his mind. Terry, Terry, yeah. It, inbox, inbox me, right Terry? And uh, I'm going to coordinate with you. Right? Because it's going to be really, really cool. Right? Especially for... For other persons, like uh, persons like uh, Priya, who's doing her cooking show, Terry, I know that you're you're always live doing a show when you're cooking, right? Uh, so definitely, I want to be able to have you featured doing some of your cooking uh, on the international uh, food festival that we're doing. So you know, I think it's gonna be really really cool, right? Um, and this goes to anybody, you know, uh, all Guyanese cooks around the world. Right, this is something we're doing from Guyana for the rest of the world in support of the countries who have suffered the most from COVID-19. Right, um, you know, I, I think uh, I think I would have I would have already told persons that I am doing what what I'm doing for Monday, and Monday uh, I'm doing an authentic Ethiopian chicken dish. Right, so it's going to be really really cool. Uh, but like I said, you know, I'm cooking everything on Saturday and I'm just going to release it, each video and each menu item as the days progress, right, uh, for the cooking festival. It's uh, from Monday to Saturday, from June 8th to whatever that Saturday is, I forget, right? Um, I think it's like the 14th or something, right? So it's, it's going to be pretty amazing, right? So get on board and uh, help us share these messages because at the end of the day all of us are important in our own way and it's important that our voices and our sympathies can be united to go across the globe and let people know that we care right thank you very much take care uh, i'm about to eat my lunch for lunch it is uh i think i eat nice up my plate right i walk in a chow mein today and white rice i still gotta pray before i eat because i, I just pray before i eat Right, I just cost plenty, but I still pray for forgiveness, right? That's because the hey, yeah, yeah, Dennis, I have tried cauliflower in fried rice. Cauliflower is not a big thing down here, so you don't always see it. The closest thing to cauliflower you're gonna get down here is broccoli, right? Um, but yeah, there's a lot of different things, right? Uh, so I have a wonderful menu plan. When I tell you a wonderful menu plan, right? Yeah, for real, right? For uh, for Saturday, it's 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 amazing, right? So make sure that uh, you guys watch the show. Uh, you guys, when the time comes and we're doing our little trivia's and giveaways and stuff like that, even if you're overseas and you win it, you can send a family or a friend. Remember, because it is an isolated environment, uh, they've got workers and everything else uh, that are going to be there. Everyone that wins or has the ability to come to the show uh, while it is being uh, filmed live, right? Kaha um, Paras, <laughs> right? Uh, while it is filmed live, right, uh, will be screened, okay? You will be screened if you got fevers, if you got stuff like that. Yeah, you're not coming in the building. Okay? Nah, Nothing I'm personal. Not Nothing personal, but safety is important. Okay? Because any area that you see me liming without a mask is an area that I've already sanitized that whole spot. Right? Or I am like a million percent confident that that spot is COVID clear. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and say my prayers. Be thankful for what I have. Uh, eat my food. You guys enjoy your lunch. And the next time you see me, I'll more than likely be out there working with them boys. Right? Because we still have a lot more work going on. So thank you very much. God bless you. And all of you stay safe. Bye.